Everyone, I'm Will and today I'm going to show you how to identify wild carrot in the fall. But before that, remember to like and subscribe and comment down below and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Right here we have some wild carrot died back and gone to seed. When you are looking during the fall of this plant of wild carrot or another name is Queen's Anzalace, you want to look for these tuft tops where they're all fluffy with the seeds. These tuft tops of the remnants of the flower from the year, these are going to be about in width, about an inch to two inches in width, and half that in height. At this time of year, you will not really even be seeing any of the leaves of the wild carrot on the dead plant. You will still see some remnants of some leaves that are still there that are curled right up. Now those are going to be somewhere in between while they're curled up, maybe an inch at the smallest, like that one, to maybe three, four inches in length. And they're gonna be all twisted up. Now when we look at the base of the wild carrot, the base of the wild carrot will have a small little fuzz that's going to be about a millimeter in length. And that fuzz is from the summer of a growing of one of the identifications that you want to look for for proper identification of getting wild carrot. Now with the width of it is going to be about a quarter inch to a third of an inch in width of each of the stalks coming off of the crown of the, where the root is. The little hairs are going to be white at this time of year, but during the summer, they're actually more photosynthesizing of a slight green, light green coloration. And the bark of the stalk of the wild carrot is going to be a brown to a light brown coloration. Mature wild carrot will flower and grow upwards of one to even eight feet tall. But don't mix it up of the water hemlock that grows eight to 10 feet tall at the most. So keep an eye out of knowing your identification for that. It's easy to harvest the seeds. You can just brush them off and the seeds come right off. There will be a lot of seeds formed from these and they also have a slight licorice flavor to them. So let's try them. The seeds are going to be about two millimeters in length and about half that in width with small white hairs along the edge of the seed. And the seeds are going to be a tannish coloration. Let's see what they taste like. That clear, it's more of a medicinal kind of carrot flavor, but that clear like licorice flavor is coming forth. I'm getting a little bit of that carrot flavor in there, but mostly like a licorice flavor uh, to it. The seeds are used uh, medicinally for like cleansing like the liver is one of the things and many more. You can use the seeds also as a good ingredient in pickling. After you have found the wild carrot plant where it has died off and went to seed, if you look at the base, because usually at the base of the wild carrot plant, there are a couple of the seeds have fallen and already germinated. So, if you look right here, there is a wild carrot leaf and a wild carrot crown of a basil rosette forming right here. This is the best time 
for you to harvest the carrot itself for eating mainly because when the carrot goes through a frost it will release the sugars more in the root and it will taste even better another point to try and identify that you have the right thing water hemlock is a perennial plant but wild carrot is a biannual so the first year it will create a basil rosette and the second year it will go to flower so if you take the base of the plant grab it pull it up and if the root is dead like this one and the outer layer of the root has come off and it's white then you have a wild carrot now the wild carrot part right here that is has died back that is not edible at all you could use it as like a fire starter but not edible but it's an indicator of where to find some young basil rosettes of wild carrot now at the crown right here where it goes to the plant and the root that is called the crown right here that will be about a half an inch to an inch in width when the outer bark of the root has come off the inner part is going to be a whitish yellow hue to it when you break open the wild carrot on the inside will be a pith not a hollow pith but a white center that is great for identification of knowing that you have a wild carrot the areas that you are looking for to find wild carrot is gardens you usually find it there or on the side of fields or your yard or even in patches of sunlight in the woods wild carrot is a sun loving plant but it also likes a slight drainage area so a little bit of a hill is good and that's how you identify wild carrot in the fall if you want to see more go down in the description below click the link to my channel or press the round subscribe button to help me out to get to 10,000 subscribers and up next time remember to get outside get fresh air and have fun see ya